I had no idea there's going to be a part number three to this stuff here. Should I even title one? Like, what is it going to be? Is it going to be Mahatma Gandhi or Adolf Hitler? Or is it Mahatma Gandhi or is it Hitler? I don't know how I would even title this video. It appears that uh, Vivek Murthy commenced with Barack Obama. I told you that this man has racial problems, that he has ethnic problems, that he is troubled. This individual is troubled. He is using a powerful Illuminati globalistic asset in his life. This is what they have uh, repeatedly voiced. You know, around the Illuminati, it's about marriage between powerful countries. Uh, in the United States of America, if you are married to the citizen from the powerful country, uh, U.S. government will bow down to you. Now, these days, the powerful countries are countries where the United States of America can take as much as possible advantage of. So, not necessarily that would be a country um, developed country uh it could be country that is like poor like a fucking mouse that u.s military has its interests for i don't know military bases like kenya let's say right obama uh you know the economic interests in the area of of kenya somalia and so on as they planted or it could be india where you have a uh, cheap labor enormous uh, potential to make, you know, second to China uh, economy, based on which you can then take advantage against more whatever is left of the world, yeah? Because this is basically the way it functions. It, 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 yeah, it's, not, it's not for free that the U.S. has agreements with the China, even that the United States of America voices its concerns against communist China, China this, China that, uh, China cheap, cheap products, cheap this, cheap that. I don't know any American company in the United States of America that would not import, such as Walmart or Kmart or which company in the United States of America, including the most expensive companies, is it that exists in the United States of America and it doesn't import from China. I don't know one single co uh, company. Swedish Volvo is made in China, clearly owned. There is no company today in the Western world that could afford not to freeload at the expense of China. Not single company, and another country like this is becoming second China, and it's a huge advantage has been taking off. Is India? India is paying a big bill for the stuff that, in many cases, is not even due to health hazards being manufactured in the Western world. And so the main asset of Mr. Vivek, and it's why he is so, 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 you know, so big, so giant, and no surprise to me, is actually his wife. This is like a perfect, perfect, perfect example, obviously not of Mahatma Gandhi. He's got this beautiful Chinese wife, obviously that she's a Chinese. I should say of Chinese origins. Her name is Chen. And uh, there you have it. Now you have a marriage between India and between China.
and you have a guy with American citizenship, a doc, both are doctors, physicians, uh, obviously a very, very uh, well-situated, uh, well-established, uh, uh, backed by both countries, I'm sure, couple in the United States of America. And that is a classic Joe Biden. Classic Joe. Joe Biden always divide and conquer, always looking to steer the shit using couples just like this one here. But as I said, the question here is, is it for Gandhi? Definitely not. Or is it for Hitler? Donald Trump dismissed this individual second year into his presidency. He threw one on a street. The question is, why is it that it took him so long to throw him out on the street? The second question that is more important than the question number one is, why did he throw one on the street? This guy is like the best possible asset. I mean, there's like no better asset than a guy like this inside of presidential administration or at United Nations, etc. There is no better asset than this. I mean, if you want to make, you think Donald Trump would dare to throw the guy like this just out of blue on the street? Not really. Not really. Donald Trump not. So that I probably answered you is exactly why. He is a racist. He is deeply racist. He is deeply mentally ill individual with a doctoral license in his hand. I don't care if the two have doctoral licenses. Man is a prejudiced. Man is a racist. And he's using his doctoral license, his position, public position, to literally murder. I should say he holds a license to kill, to murder, to assassinate. And that brings us back to this issue about people, assignments at the United Nations, what their job is, what kind of mindset have these people, what do they go for every day to work over there, what is in their mind. But this is a typical, typical attitude that you would have with people like this, without any remorse, any, but not remorse. This guy started with Obama. You know the truth between racism under Obama and between the racism of Donald Trump, it's all the same shit. On you know, one side is, you look at in one direction, you see black people of color taking advantage of the situation. You look the other end, and then you again you see the Nazi, you again see some other agenda taking advantage of, you look a little bit, further out of the box, and you see Joe Biden working for Donald Trump. You zoom yourself a little bit out of the box, and you come to what I stated you at the beginning of Joe Biden's presidency. The two are working together for one another. And then you, you get the real picture about where this couple really fits, what kind of politics this is, because it's about people like this making their moves, but it's about big politics, big politic, changing the landscape of the global picture. A beautiful couple, beautiful couple, is just too bad that it's been misrepresenting the purpose of United Nations, misrepresenting um, the picture about United States of America and pulling the world into irreversible vertigo, basically. 
we have seen already in the historical ways this this kind of irreversible stuff have happened throughout the history. Uh, all this, it was something very unlikely that could come to power, but nevertheless, it did. Dismissed as a U.S. surgeon two years. Two years into Donald Trump's presidency, he was thrown out. Today, under Joe Biden's administration, he did a very, very important step, however, to protect the future of Donald Trump, to ensure that people understand there is a strong element of racial tensions in absolutely every walk of life within the United States of America, as well as at the United Nations. This is a typical British co uh, colonialism. It's a colonialist uh, politic. It's a typical British is representing typical British uh, values, values of um, What Narendra Modi, you know, would refer to as a cooperation, as a good relations, as a, you know, et cetera, et cetera. But this is at the expense of other people. You know, it, it all adds up to a presidency of Barack. I don't know. I, I really don't know. Is it adds up to a presidency of Barack Obama or simply to a mentally ill guy that, that persists in this Vivek inside of his head? I think he is mentally ill. Uh, if I think that he is mentally ill, uh, I have ability to detour fact about his involvement with Barack Obama against me. If I if I if I feel that he is a, you know that he is a real racist, that he did this through the racial tensions to to cause basically harm, to injure, to cripple, to kill, like he said he would, uh, you know, then in, in, in that case, you know, I don't know how this is, you know, how all this stuff looks like, you know, I don't know what to say, you know, this is a fucking beast. I lost 52 years of life in a process, you know, obviously I continue to lose one, you know, to some... <clears throat> Beautiful couple that you see right there. I don't know what to tell you about this stuff. I am kind of a frustrated that uh, at the end of the day, I face with issues of literally of Donald Trump, the issues that are defeating the laws of the gravity. Till somebody in the game is needed and then the hell breaks out, you know. It's the people like this, like this guy here, this loser here. There are the people that defeated the laws of the gravity in the history. It's the people like this that brought Hitler 
that brought all other wars, big wars that they cooked up. It's this kind of stuff right there. Because it's the people like this that need cases like this so they can they can demonstrate themselves their 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 might, their height. As a matter of fact, yeah, I do have a real problem also with his wife. She was involved in it, and she also was extorted. Uh, literally gave the ultimatum. This is the couple you're going to have to embrace, basically. Uh, anything against Yin, it's going to be up to you. So she's Chinese, she's Indian. And we have American president between, it's like a holy matrimony of the three with the Joe Biden in the middle. And this is basically what I'm just going to have to embrace to solve my case. Never. Never. Never, ever. I'm going to go back to my complaint. I lost precious moments because of this stuff. And then I will get back to you. Hopefully with the police letter, because I want to see you in China. I want to see you in India. I want your representative in China, and I want your people in India to respond to me on this issue. I want the complete feedback from Chinese, from the Indians. I want the explanation for what exactly did you mean by this, that I would just have to bend down. And... allowed to be abused from the people basically who engaged in a terrorism. I don't know how it would be if I would come to India or to China into the house of some Chinese guy or some Indian guy that he would be mistreated and by the government and I would enter the house inside you know, maybe for the Chinese and for the Indian government, that would be good. With what I stated right now, it sounds sure it would be good. But why the fuck this guy got a job at the United Nations? Because it's United Nations that should be interested, motivated in people's rights, in ensuring that there is not stuff like this happening to the people. And how would it be if I would go to the house of the Vivek and he would be drugged up over there, surrounded by the Indian police and mistreated, basically. And I would go out there and meet with the Indian people. Then I would return back and I would be meeting somebody from Britain, let's say. Uh, you know me. I would have American citizenship, just like I have one, but... In the same situation like Vivek is right now, Slovenian in India investigating the stuff uh, and literally meeting British guy over there who would say to me, uh, in front of you, Vivek, he would say to me, how is it? Did you learn something? Have you seen? What have you learned in this? What do you think? And so on. Right? What do you think? It's like, what the fuck you think? Like I said, if you, if you attended the school for the special needs, if you were mental retarded and you would not understand much with a, I don't know, IQ of 50 or something like this, I don't think you would need more than IQ 50 to add together the stuff that was done to me to come to clear conclusion about what goes on. But, you know, what do you think? I would say, um, you know, I would hear, what do you think? And I would say, you know, this and that, and I will come back and I would have British guy saying to you, Vivek, in front of me, that it will be whatever my official stand is going to be about you is what it will be, right? How would you feel about this kind of stuff? With this kind, of, would you would you feel like you're being racially discriminated against? All right, this is only 52 years of genocide. You have no fucking respect. You have no respect for human life. And it goes the same to Chen. It goes the same to Alice Chen. What kind of right did you have to extort on behalf of your husband and threaten, death threaten 
In a situation like this, when you say stuff like that, United Nations, and you say Chinese government and India government, that's more than serious death threat. Because you have a capacity to do all kinds of problems, and you did all kinds of problems at the United Nations. How would you feel about the stuff like this? How would you see? Would you put the head down? Would you maybe this is your culture, that's how you do it? If this is how you do it, then I'm going to say to you, it's time to separate from United Nations and establish United Nations with the nations that are going to be in line with the human rights. Because at the present, United Nations do very nothing, really, to protect human rights of people. The legacy of the World War II is outlined, read one, at the Wikipedia. So uh, the stuff you do, it really does nothing, really, for the people of this world, you are outlining your views and you're pushing forward your views, uh, and you are disregarding. You are disregarding people. You are doing stuff the way you would want the world to pursue your views by literally trampling all over the people, doing the stuff that basically it fits to you. It's extremely disappointed, this stuff with the United Nations. It makes me feel I might not even manage to get through United Nations because of shit like this, literally shit like this. But I probably will through some other sources. And when I get through those other sources, you are probably going to have to really run back to India or China or be imprisoned in the United States for, of America for what you did. Sad story, but I'm not going to stop short of anybody. I don't care.